Visual learners, in this fourth video on Indian paintings, we will focus on the concept of modern Indian paintings. The objective of this video is to analyze the influence of European style of painting on Indian paintings, how painting evolved during the British period, what were the various factors that influenced the painting style of India, and in the post-independent period, our role and responsibility to maintain the painting art of India. When we discuss about British rule, we find that folk art and regional paintings flourished in India. However, with the British conquest of India, there were changes in the art styles as Europe had great access to India and a large section of Indian society was under the influence of European culture. The British during their rule founded art schools in the capital of their provinces. The art schools were mainly required to focus on developing painters for various departments. Patronage of painters was confined only to the landed aristocracy and wealthy merchants and to some extent few British bureaucrats in India. We had a small group of enlightened Europeans who came to India to learn and appreciate the aesthetic value of Indian painting and to save it from decay. The best known among them is Ferguson, Havel and Percy Brown. Now, let us understand how the art of painting evolved during the European time phase that is during the time of British and India. Towards the end of 19th century, a positive re reaction commenced against the declining school of painting and the time was ripe for the rise of indigenous Indian painting. Quite a few talented Indians had adapted the European style of painting and used the techniques of oil and watercolor. Raja Ravi Verma of Kerala gained much reputation in this period through his paintings of mythological subjects. The pioneers looked back into the heritage for inspiration. Abhindranath is one of the again reputed figure in terms of painting who cre recreated a national style in painting. He and his worthy followers experimented on the various techniques of Indian miniature paintings and patta paintings. The new artistic faith spread far and wide in the country and it is also popularly known as the Bengal school of painting. The exponents of this school were charged with a new sense of nationalism. They tried to focus on the old pieces of Indian paintings and aimed at its revival. However, they were also influenced by the European style of painting. So in the early 20s, Rabindranath Tagore had also focused on this form of painting and he had handled the colors in a different way altogether, which led to the growth of modern Indian painting. Modern Indian painting is a complete reversal and break away from the past. It's not very easy to explain in words what belongs to shape, color and form in the case of modern Indian paintings. We must look at the work of art with eyes and heart and with our emotional intelligence. Modern Indian paintings reflect the complexity of modern life. They focus on the life of city dwellers, the challenges of cities. Moreover, intellectually they accept that the experiences of modern man is different from that of the traditional villager. The Bengal school was taken up when Ravindranath Tagore established the Visionary University of Shanti Niketan, a university focused on the preservation and upliftment of Indian culture, values and heritage. It had an art school known as Kalabhavan founded in 1920-21.
though Sri Rabindranath Ji came late to painting in his long and productive life, his idea was greatly influenced by Indian modernism. In private, Tagore made small drawings colored with ink, which he drew inspiration from the various events happening around. He was very much involved in the revival and modernization of paintings. One of the early student of Abhindranath Tagore was Nandilal Bose, who subsequently became the teacher and later the director for art. Nandilal led the school to a position of preeminence in the nationalistic ideology. The Shantiniketan school of thought emphasized that an aesthetic painting is a one which has ethos and has established an Indian version of nationalism which was distinct from the other schools such as the oriental and western schools. They focused on oil paintings, paintings on paper, used watercolors and ink, motifs such as those related to rural folk and tribals were promoted by various art related schools of Vishwabharati University in Shantiniketan and we had prominent artists of Shantiniketan schools such as Bihari Mukherjee, Ram Kinkarbaj and Shantanu Chaudhary. Thus the initiatives of the Bengal school led to a development of Indian modern paintings with the character for expression art of all types. They experimented with Indian art with a social flavor. Amrita Shelgil, a prominent painter at this time, symbolizes the interaction of Indian and European tradition that is visible in bulk of her modern Indian paintings. And this suggests that there was a lot of modulations in terms of color, light and scenes from open air were also depicted which indicated the brilliance of her painting style. Gemini Roy also contributed as a revivalist in the Indian painting and focused on a lot of decorative aspects. The positive achievement of this period was the creation of more aesthetic value and new styles. For example, we had Shabir Hussain who focused on optical qualities. We had painters like Vimal Das Gupta who focused on number of new forms, MF of Hussain and Ram Kumar on various aspects related to earth, Bhupen Khakkar on curious reality, Gulam Sheikh specialized into color sensitivity and Rajiv Lochan uh, was the one who looked into the past as far as the paintings was concerned. So we had numbered of artists, the list is exhaustive, but each of them had their own way of expression and contributed in the preservation of modern Indian painting art. By the time of independence in 1947, several schools of art and in India provided access to modern techniques and ideas. Galleries were established to showcase these artists. Modern Indian art typically shows the influence of western style but is often inspired by Indian themes and images. Major artists began to gain international recognition among the non-Indians also. The Progressive Artistic Group was established in India in 1947, which was intended to establish a new way of expressing India in the post-colonial era. Its founder was Francis Newton Souza and S. H. Raza, M. F. Hussain and Manish Dey were early members. It had a profound influence in changing the overall Indian painting art. Almost all the major painter artists of India in 18 in 1950. Almost all the major painters in 1950 were associated with the group. So prominent among them were Ram Kumar, Tayyab Mehta, K. H. Ara, Bal Chhabra. In 1950, we had Krishna Kanan and Mohan Samant who joined the group. However, the group 
disbanded in 1956. But we had a lot of prominent painters that came into prominence during this time such as K. K. Heber, K. C. S. Panikar, K. G. Subramaniam, Satish Gujral, Shakti Barman and Gulam Muhammad Sheikh, Johar Das Gupta, Jyoti Bhatt. These were some of the painters who enriched the Indian art culture of India and became the icons of modern Indian art. Women artists like B. Prabha, Shanu Lehri, Arpita Singh and Lalita Rajmi had made immense contribution to modern Indian painting. We have art historians like Professor Ravi Anand Krishna who have worked on the various contributions of modern artists that reflect Indian ethos. So, we have contemporary artists also and the artists who focused on Indian spiritual themes and had put on their canvas the Sufi thought and the thoughts of Bhagavad Gita. With the economic liberalization of country since 1990s, artists from various fields are now working in the area of Indian painting. The post liberalization period saw new concepts in Indian art and this art was the art which was based on the various styles which was developed entirely on the Indian soil and they transformed the Indian paintings into a new style. Many artists have established themselves in the international art market and through their paintings, they have acquired attention of global artists. Many art houses and galleries have been opened in various parts of US and Europe to show cause Indian artwork. Now, in terms of conservation, we must understand that there is a close relationship between tourism and environment and it is essential for us to conserve the paintings. Tourism is developed with an environmentally fragile and vulnerable settings such as when we find the paintings in Ajanta, Alara and Bark Caves, it is important for us that when we are developing tourism using floodlights to illuminate the interior paintings of these caves, the brightness of these paintings may diminish. Now learners, in towards the end of this video, let us understand the changing trends in terms of the expectations of painting in India. Over the past few years, there is a lot of change that has taken place due to constant interaction with the western world. Indian artists are now contributing in the global art scene and they are establishing linkages creating lifetime engagement with their audiences and getting their painting work displayed at numerous art exhibitions and galleries. This has led to a lot of value for money and the art is also becoming valuable among Indians both within the country and outside. Indian painting art is today full of new age painters who are focused on the growing market. The renowned artists focus on several themes depicting diverse culture and society. Indian art paintings have moved away from being plain, beautiful and skilled to, to something interesting and unusual. We have discussed that earlier the focus was primarily on mythological Themes, but today the painters in India who are born post independence have a radical viewpoint and they have seen the evolution of the country and the various challenges people face. So there is a clear cut modernism that is witnessed over the traditional paintings. This Indian art of contemporary painting has scaled new heights. And today with the advancements in information technology, there is a huge scope for marketing and connecting to global audience. 
Now in this video I will explain with you some of the ways through which Indian painters are connecting with the outside world and are getting attention from the global market. First of all we have the new generation of art buyers. They are basically those part of the society who are either entrepreneurs, high level company executives or professionals who look forward to affordable paintings for decorations in home or in their offices. The second most important part is the increasing online sale. The online platforms have emerged as a new avenue for sale in the visual art industry. A number of players are offering online auctions related to paintings. Another important development is the involvement of corporates who are taking this painting tradition in a long way. They are helping the industry in terms of raising funds, organizing various art festivals and events and promoting budding painters. The government support in terms of funding, infrastructure, creating awareness and rationalization of the tax structure is also promoting modern Indian painting in India. Today we find number of private art galleries who generate gain through sale of paintings. These galleries are connected with artists who work on contractual basis. Galleries help to sale and promote, they organize exhibitions, invite art enthusiasts to participate and then they earn revenue. These galleries build a long term loyal relationship. We have galleries such as Nature Mote in New Delhi, we have Chatterjee and Lal in Mumbai. Escape Gallery again in New Delhi. So in major cities of India we find art galleries. The second most visited place is the public museum. The public museums are predominantly financed by government using the taxes. It includes spaces which are owned, operated and managed on behalf of public. They have their own collection and exhibits of paintings and artwork which is sourced from globally renowned institutions also. They organize guided tours, seminars and lectures and special programs on features of modern Indian painting. So we have public museums in India including the National Gallery of Modern Art at New Delhi. Then we have the Chhatrapati Shivaji Vastu Sangrahale in Mumbai which organizes such activities. The third important place from where you can buy these art pieces is the auction houses. Auction houses are dedicated to buying and selling of previously owned pieces of painting. They serve as a great platform for both buyers and sellers to determine price estimate and to authenticate quality work. Auction houses are responsible for getting the highest possible price of the piece of a painting when it enters a private marketplace. Along with this, there are a number of private non-commercial art in initiatives. Number of private corporations and patrons have come for, to promote and develop the painting art. So we have the Foundation for Contemporary Art which has developed an environment which provides artists the opportunity to grow and create an art with full autonomy. These institutions work through crowdfunding or independent donations. So learners in this video we have studied that painting emerged as a modern art and is different from that of the painting of the ancient and the medieval period. Today, internet has emerged as a major source for finding new contemporary artists. Besides this, we have several websites that show course the painting work from new talented young artists and also vigorously market their work on social media. People buy these artwork 
some of them may be first time buyers also who spend a good amount of their income and buy the painting as a passion. The new segment of art buyers are the ones who are interested in patronizing the regional paintings also. They attend shows at art galleries, exhibits and participate in workshops to buy original artwork. The online space is a game changer for young artists who find it difficult to showcase their work at physical art galleries due to lack of financial resources and contacts. So online art platforms have emerged as an ideal marketplace for domestically produced artwork. So the painting art in India is changing with technology, with the support of government and the private entrepreneurs. There are a lot of facilities that are available to young painters in India to sell their products in the global marketplace. Thank you.